All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to say call halal la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the Lord's elect that's teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right. Now this is my glass of water of the day once again, and um, basically in this topic, you know, I want to discuss about something I had discussed with someone. You know, and they asked me this question. They said, uh, why do you not fear, you know, what's coming? And, you know, scriptures popped in the head. You know, the Lord don't give the spirit of fear. You know, um, the, the, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So so us being men of the Lord, we are going to fear. But we're not going to fear in a way where you're going to lose your wits. You know, the Lord said, don't be afraid of sudden fear. You know, roughly paraphrasing it, you know, that um, you may draw yourself away from the Lord. The Lord give us this word. All right. Which is the comforter. And so when fear do come and you're struck with it and you're not knowing what you may do, what settles you is your how about show me how shine his word, because the scriptures are popping your head, you know, like that. And you will understand that, OK, this is the lot. This is this is what has to be done. Hopefully, the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh deliver me. And if the Lord be so that He takes me out in the fashion of being a witness, being a um, performing that um, um, performing that uh, prophecy, because the scriptures say that uh, some men shall be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, uh, be cast into prison, be faithful once in ten days. If that's your lot, you know, don't fear, because knowing that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has um, has marked you. You know, to be the elect, he have chosen you, you know, and they ask, why do you don't fear? You know, for one, also the scriptures say, uh, fear not man, but fear him that killed the body and soul, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Which is the heavenly father. We fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah more than we fear uh, man, these Edomites. And Esau's main tactics is to pump fear. They take your family away from you, put them against you, or they do all types of things to hopefully that you will dis um you would dishonor or you would uh uh, uh what's the word I'm looking for? Um you will uh basically go against the Lord's word, man. You take that chip, the mark of the beast, you know. But the moral of the point which I want to read here, I probably don't read from one. Because I want to make this quick, Lord willing, I hope edifying as well. And um, the point is, is that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it don't matter whether, you know, um, you know, we we live all the way through or you have to be a, you have to be part of the prophecy to be the witness of to be the witness for Yahweh Shai. It's still it's game. Paul said it's great game. But at the end of the day. As long as you endure all the way to the end, as the scriptures say, there's nothing that Esau can do or heathens or two thirds of our people can do to stop the destruction of Babylon, the Greek. At the end of the day, knowing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to destroy this place because he says it and I'm going to read it. So, you know, when this person asks me that question, why you don't fear I laughed at the time when <laughs> it was like, you know, not being proud of anything, but I laughed because we was talking. It was a good conversation and they was laughing at me because I was laughing, you know, laughing together because they understood the point that I was trying to. Um, I was making, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, is that it don't matter what the fuck they do, because at the end of the day, if they if they go and try to kill the prophets, they seek and trying to kill brothers off and do all this type of shit. That's not going to stop the Lord from destroying this place, you know? So all of these um, agents, these trying to spy out our liberty, you got all, like I was watching the apostle, the elder, the apostle uh, Tahar, and he did his latest video about some, some other guys now, you know, talking about us, kind of go out there in, in the streets, talking about the Hebrew Israelites, peach hate, they racist, they say they only can make it. Look, man, these guys are paid to fuck off, and hey, you niggas is going to be destroyed as well. Because guess what? Whatever, all that you're doing is not going to stop the Lord destroying this place. The Lord's word, uh, I go, Salakia, um, his word never go out void. So the Lord's word is like a hitman. When he say it, it happens. There's only a few times the Lord repented of his evil. 
You know, it says that the Lord is not a man to repent. Because when the Lord says something, it gets done, man. And this is going to get done. So let's read here, right? Uh, Revelations 18. Uh, I should just start at one. Um, all right, I'll start at seven. It says, how much she have glorified herself, which is here, America, right? Because you're not going to see America in the Bible. The Bible speaks in parables. It speaks in dark sayings. And it speaks in codes. We understand what the Bible is talking about. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua being taught from our elders. I mean, from our apostles and elders on and down. And it's, and it's evident. Prophecies is taking place. All right. The Bible is now unlocked. All right. So that what? This word can go out. So Revelations 18 and 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she say in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and she see no and she see no sorrow. So that's this. That's the spirit of this place called America, man, which is known Babylon the Great. You know, America, the people here in Amer America, the, uh, the Americanized Americans, the Americanites, whatever you want to call them. You know, they believe that America would never fall. They believe that no sorrow can come here. But not realizing that when you're talking about a and you're because you got a lot of Jake that will be into politics, but not truly understand what they really listening to or understand what's happening. But they know a little something. They know that uh, this place is on the breaking of a world war. But when you tell them that they go, yeah, 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 you know, bro, yeah, you know. But then when you tell them this is a nuclear war, they still don't understand that a nuclear war thermonuclear missiles there's no coming back from that there's no shooting that icbm out the sky to prevent it from hitting the mark the land here in babylon all right when these countries establish themselves with nuclear capability icbms intercontinental ballistic missiles they become uh uh, uh, a nuclear uh, power place to that holds power because if you shoot okay let's say for an example if uh, Russia shoot a missile off at America there's nothing America can do but run and hide but also the only thing they could do is shoot a missile back so it's like a no win situation but Jake don't understand this you know they talk about how um, oh, we could shoot that our defense Defense, America's defense is this and that. Jake is so lost, man. But it says, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she say in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow. She shall see, she shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plague come in one day. So lock in. Therefore shall her plague come in one day. Death mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the lord yahweh who judged her you see that so in one day all right which is going to get it's going to get into it it says um death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burnt with fire so who can change this who can stop this prophecy who tell me because i would love to know can esau do it can the elites do it can Jake out there that's uh, out there paid off to tell you Israelites that you're not Israelites? They want to keep you a part of this uh, doctrine of the slavery plantation, being a Baptist, a Jehovah's wickedness, you know, being a so-called Christian in Christianity. It says, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judge her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lamb it for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. So all these other countries and all these kings that have their established land and they share and they trade with America, they're going to do what? Who have committed fornication, all right, and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lamb it for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning 
So all these other countries are going to be well, you know, they're going to be upset because they see in this place burning the way it is. And you got to understand the, the vision of that, you know, is, is, is horrifying. It's horrifying to actually see the land, the, the, the land mass of um, North America from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. That whole land mass is going to be a lake of fire. And for the other countries to see that, to know that there's nothing here, ever, nothing on land living, that's a horrifying vision, man. And that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to make an utter destruction of this place. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what they say. But the Lord is going to He says, stand far off from the fear of the torment. You can try to scoff. To, you can scoff till you can't. You can scoff till your tonsils hurt. You know, make money. You got you got demons today that make money off of scoffing the true men, the the prophets of the Lord, the true men of the Lord. Man, check that out. You know, you got these Jakes that he saw them put giving them a bag now, which is some money to go out there on the streets and teach contrary of the truth. When prophecies are taking place, they focus on us instead of focusing on the demonic, wicked shit that's going on here in this world. Not just here in Babylon, but throughout the world. But their main focus is on us. That lets you know something, man. That, hey, somebody telling the truth, man. And that's Shahal Bashim Yahushad and the servants and men who he set up, man. So I'm going to read it one more time, man. Because at the end of the day, no matter what happened, man. This scripture applies because the Lord is going to make an utter destruction of this place, man. So why fear, man? The question was, well, why don't you fear? You know, well, at the end of the day, whatever happens, the most high is going to destroy this place. Plain and simple. <laughs> no matter what you do. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, at last, at last, that great city Babylon, which is America, that mighty city for one hour is thy judgment come. And if you say that in America, I'll wait for you to comment down below and tell me what city that is. All right. What what land that is? What is what is Babylon in the Bible today? Because this is prophecy that did not happen yet. This is in the book of Revelations as well, which means to reveal. So with that, you know, I want to say call halal, la, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the father, Yahweh, in the name of the son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the Lord's elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect.